Hey there gang, what's up and welcome back to another video on Random Viral Tube. Did he really start the fire? We don't really know a lot about Ryan Howard, but as a temporary guy who turned into the vice president of Dunder Mifflin, his biggest accomplishment is Dunder Mifflin Infinity, the notorious website that he created. So what were his biggest moments? Stick around to find out. But before we do that, be sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of more videos from our channel in the future. Let's get to it guys. Number 1. When he started the fire. When Ryan joined the office family, he was just a temp kid who went to business school, but his first entry into the franchise was a sad one. The scene in question starts with a small fire erupting in the office, and the team is requested to wait outside while the authorities put it out. While the team stands waiting, Dwight, in a feeble attempt at heroism and to impress Michael, decides to go back inside to get Michael's phone. Inside, he discovers that Ryan had accidentally left his pita bread on the stove oven, thus causing the fire. This unfortunate event led to the helpless Ryan getting stuck with the nickname Fire Guy, even encouraging Dwight to write a song about I him. I can't believe I started the fire. Number 2. When Ryan and Kelly got together There's no arguing that the cutest couple in office history was definitely Jim and Pam, but juxtaposing that happy relationship with the train wreck that was Mindy and Ryan. They both hooked up with each other on February 13th in the show in Season 2. Ryan has a lot of regrets about mixing personal with professional, and the relationship is a roller coaster of emotions and fights, and ultimately, TV style drama we all love to eat up. It may also be worthy to mention here that the actors who played these characters were also pursuing a relationship in real life, which definitely may have added to the sparks we saw in Kelly and Ryan's lives. The rest is TV history. Okay, we're never technically. Um, is there a, is there a problem? Well, I didn't get you anything because you have treated me inconsiderately. Number three, when he decides to give Dwight a chance. When Ryan permanently became a full-timer, there was no way he could have avoided the initiation, the ritual that belongs to the one and only Dwight Schrute. Season 3 of The Office is a season consisting of such brilliant episodes that initiation gets lost in the process. The episode followed Dwight's weird, but in all honesty, adorable attempt to bond with Ryan by initiating him into the Dwight Army of Champions, which involved Dwight abandoning Ryan at a beet farm where he's expected to plant beet seeds, has him wrestling with Dwight's cousin Mose, and a casket. But the episode has its own sort of happy ending because it shows that Dwight and Ryan finally decide to bond in a normal way where they decide to throw eggs and catch drinks at the bar. This Ryan moment is one of the best because it shows how he's willing to make it work with Dwight and fit in with the whole office family now that he's a permanent member. My cousin Mo! No, okay, alright, alright! Wrestling to the ground! Number 4. When Ryan and Kelly get together The office ended on a high note, and contributing to that greatness was the reunion of Kelly and Ryan. That storyline re never really ended properly, and it always remained in our hearts. We were eager to see Kelly finally getting the big love story she dreamed of, and for better things to happen in Ryan's life. But if you think it happened without the underlying comedy, guess again. Mindy is sitting at Pam's wedding when she meets Ryan again, who's holding a child in his arms. Mistaking it for Ryan's, she is surprised until she finds out that Ryan's girlfriend actually ran out on him and left the child behind, and Ryan was never the father. Things take an interesting and hilarious turn when Kelly and Ryan realize that they were meant for each other all along and decide to leave the kid behind with Kelly's date to Pom's wedding who also happened to be a pediatrician. But at least the kid was left in good hands, right? And more importantly, at least we got our happy ending. Oh. I was wondering, could you maybe examine him for a second? Oh yeah, you're not feeling... Right? Whether people accept her or not, 
The Office is definitely one of the most wholesome shows out there. It didn't make use of inappropriate jokes or vulgarity to make people laugh, but just the simple knock-knock jokes and Jim's pranks on Dwight and vice versa were enough to crack us down and keep us entertained until the very end. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked the video yet, don't hesitate to do so now. We'll be seeing you guys in another video real soon. Until then, take care and goodbye.